Welcome to our honeymoon vlog at Sandals Barbados. Getting there was honestly quite a nightmare, so make sure you go onto the Visit Barbados website and see all the updated restrictions for when you go. We had to get retested, probably added on an hour to customs, and we also did get to see John B at the airport, so that made it all worthwhile. And once you get there, you get walked up to your room. We got the beachfront club level suite with balcony tranquility soaking tub, and it was amazing. We actually chose this room and this resort over the Royals because we wanted to look directly out into the ocean and you get to use all the amenities right at both of them right next to each other. There was a bottle of champagne already chilled as soon as we got up there and we popped that right away to celebrate the honeymoon. And then we went down to check out a lot of the pools that they have at both of the resorts. So this is the main pool of the Sandals Barbados as a swim up bar and it has two restaurants that are open for lunch. These resorts are literally right next to each other. You can walk right from one to the other and you don't even know where one begins and one ends. So this path will lead you right into the infinity pool at the Sandals Royal Barbados. For breakfast, we hit up Spices a lot, and this is the view at Spices. It's a buffet style, so you can get up as many times as you want, and there's lots of different food varieties. For our first full morning, we ended up booking a photo shoot for free with the resort photographers. We had Ryan, and he did such a great job. And again, this is free, except the photos are $20 each. But they have deals like if you buy 10, you get it for $180. So it turns out to be 18 a piece. And now we have those photos forever to remember our honeymoon. The next pool we wanted to check out is at the Sandals Royal Barbados. And it's Sandals' first and only rooftop pool. It's right next to the Sky Bar, which gets really lively at night. The view up here was amazing. It was a little windy, but worth it for a while. Then back again at the infinity pool. They have a DJ there. They're always having events like aqua aerobics, foam parties, games. It was really fun there. Later we went to, I think it's called the South Seas Pool. This is the pool at the Royal Resort with a swim up bar. So that was awesome. And it's also a more chill vibe. It also had a hot tub and the staff would come up there pretty regularly and see if anyone needed drink refills. One of the lunch restaurants right near the main pool at Sandals Barbados is Dino's and they have a bunch of pizza options. The beach was gorgeous. There was constantly airplanes coming around, which was super fun to watch. I just recommend putting a towel down here early. We would always lay a towel down, go get breakfast, and then come back. And we never had any problems. For dinner this night, we went to Butch's Steak and Seafoods. It's so great because you can order as much food as you want. And once you're done, you just get to get up and leave because you've already paid for it. At night, a great spot is the Sky Bar. It just has such a great view of the infinity pool below. The next morning, we went to Sweet and Salty's, the donut shop. It is right in between both resorts, so it's super convenient. We got so got many donuts here throughout our whole trip, and they were all so, so good. My job now. One of the lunch spots we went to was Neptune's, and that is right next to the Infinity Pool at Royal, and it has amazing views. And if you're wondering how clear the water is, this is how clear. I mean, you can see right down. I will say it was super windy. The winds come in usually from the east and it just hits the resort and not great, but they do have a jetty and that helps break down the waves so much. The water was pretty chilly, but if I can handle it, anybody can. We tried to go in every day for at least a little bit. And usually it does rain in the afternoon. Our rain plan when we saw the clouds rolling in was always to go up, take a bath. We really got good use out of that tub. Make sure you head out on the beach for sunset because that is the best way that you are going to see it. Another night for dinner, we went to the hibachi bar, kimonos. There was so much food and it was all so good. 
make sure you check out their schedule because they'll always have events throughout the day and night. We were there for Super Bowl. They brought in trucks for tailgating and a bunch of seats that were all lined up for people to watch. For Valentine's Day, we ended up getting the Turtle and Shipwreck Snorkeling Excursion. And this was $50 per person. It was so, so worth it, you guys. If you want to go on an excursion, this is the one to do. Once you get on the boat, they take you to Carlisle's Bay, which is probably a five-minute boat ride. You're not guaranteed to see sea turtles since they are wild, but they said it's almost guaranteed unless it's July or August. We ended up seeing two. The sea turtles get so close to you. It is hard not to touch them. You're not supposed to, but I mean, they literally come up and will brush by you or nudge you. We also got to see a eagle ray, uh, but luckily the stingrays stay down towards the bottom and we stay towards the top. So it, it never came up to us and it was really cool to see. After about 30 minutes there, we reboarded the ship and just took another few minutes to go over to a shipwreck. There was actually two shipwrecks and there were so many fish and the guides were amazing. They kept pointing things out to us to see on the shipwreck. They also got, I believe it was called a, a sea egg and they let you hold it or touch it. dinner we went to Portfino's. This is Italian dining. The peak of the trip was definitely the snorkeling and all the relaxing we got to do.